and welcome to another episode of FBS. I'm uh, here today with uh, Mr. B. Schoolhausen. Say hello. Hello. And I'm also with uh, Mr. Flux. Say hello as well. Hello. Uh, I never know how to start these videos, but uh, here uh, is uh, a flyover of, uh, well, the airport, which uh, I'm, I'm so glad that I finally can take uh, some of these clips because everything, the inner ring, at least, of the of the airport is all detailed and nice and, mm -hmm. and has uh, some some gorgeous details and uh in this episode oh man if if the previous episode was a lot of work this one was uh i would say not as much work but about the same or just a little bit less but not by a lot because uh we're finally adding the lights <laughs> we will finally <laughs> see the light um so um it's uh the the, the way i i approach this uh, i wanted to to keep it as simple as possible and obviously tried to to reduce our, our prop count. So what I ended up doing is creating uh, network network versions of uh, the different uh, configurations of lights. So we have the taxi, the taxi corners, the taxi sides. I actually created these uh, districts here so you can actually see uh, what these look like. Oh, that's neat. Um, yeah, just kind of uh, in informational uh, on, on, on the things you're about to see once I start putting them down because everything happens so fast that it might be uh, hard to, to catch up. Uh, I think the day before I finished recording this episode, which actually was like an, a few hours ago, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the um, uh, Vasmir actually released network versions of these. Uh, and I'm using his assets for this ones, though these ones are basically created by me. Uh, and I don't necessarily know if uh, I'll upgrade them because <laughs> that's going to take a little bit of work. Right. Uh, and I'm quite happy with how they turn out. I think uh, it, I was looking at his his uh, asset pack and I think they're pretty similar. Um, there might be a few differences, but uh, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with how they look. And uh, not only we're going to be adding all these slides on just the size of, of the runways and the taxiways, but we're also going to be adding the approach lights. And uh, yeah, those, those are going to be looking really, really nice. Uh, stay tuned for the cinematics. And all this means that uh, we can finally start doing some night cinematics uh, from now yeah, on. Yeah, that'll be nice. We've been getting like so many comments. I think every single episode, somebody said like, you should get, you guys should add lights. Like, what? Well, we only have lights on the runways, and we, <laughs> we've been well, planning it for so long. Here's the thing: but... lights. Uh, we, uh, up until a few episodes ago, literally two episodes ago, or like we haven't had final com like runway configurations yet. We were mm -hmm. still making changes. So adding all these slides and putting all this work into a thing that you're later going to change completely didn't seem like a good idea. But now. Uh, I mean, I personally am pretty happy with the runway configuration or layout. I don't know about you guys, but... Oh, yeah, definitely. It's yeah, okay. I don't think we're going <laughs> to... I don't want to change the whole thing. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you're more than welcome to change everything and add the lights back on, if, if that's uh, what your heart, uh, your heart desires. But, uh, yeah, for the... I mean, we, it's possible that we may change this. Uh, we, we do make changes in the future, but I don't think they're going to be as radical as... Like for example, the last episode I did, in which I did just change everything, um, and uh, I decided to start on the I guess the polder band inspired runway that we have on the very edge. This runway has been kind of left on the side quite literally uh, for a while because uh, there's no uh, buildings around it yet. Uh, eventually, we're gonna have the cargo area right next to this, uh, and this is also something that comes up on on the comments every once in a while. People asking if we're gonna ever do uh, that uh, build. That one's going to be a big one, and we've been kind of holding off from doing it, uh, well, mainly because we wanted to finish uh, sort of the big projects that we already started. Uh, we have, what, like two more terminals that we need to detail? Can you answer yeah. that for me? Yeah. Um, so I, I guess until we sort of tie those loose ends, uh, we won't uh, really start working on the cargo area. So, yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, FPS uh, to come, uh, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Uh, in terms of the lights, um, I was trying to uh, be as accurate as possible. I was uh, using, uh, again, Vasmir, when, when he uploaded uh, some of these props, he also uploaded some uh, documentation on how these lights should work. And uh, I've been basing uh, some of the, the light uh, setup on, on, on what the documentation uh, looks like. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to be really accurate or at least as accurate as I can, but I know th there's a lot of limitations. For example, one of the main limitations that I, uh, that I had is the fact that the game doesn't support green lights. 
And this is something that I didn't know up until recently. Huh. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it, uh, uh, Jay, do you know what the problem actually is? You may know more about that than there, me. The, the, the problem is that there just aren't any green light templates to be had, which is really weird. Uh, and adding custom light effects, we have a mod that can do that, but it creates uh, some pretty bad memory leaks, yeah. which are pretty apparently very hard to track down. And we can't really have that in a series that, one, we need to be recording, which takes a little bit of extra computer juice to do. But also, memory leaks in something where we're using a ton of assets that fill our RAMs already, also not great. Mm -hmm. um, Vasmir set of lights does have a green version that you could use. But uh, again, you need uh, that mod that has uh, that, uh, well, that issue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Um, I decided not to use uh, green lights, unfortunately. It would have made it look so much nicer with the green lights, trust me. Uh, I did put some set of uh, taxi lights that are like flushed uh, up against the, the floor uh, that have, they, they do light up and they're green, but they don't like cast a light, like a green light, unfortunately. So there, it's like, you need to be very, very close to be able to see uh, the greenness of it. Uh, but for the most part, you know, having the the blue lights for the taxi, uh, the taxiways, the white lights or white yellowish lights actually for the runway, and uh, just some red lights uh, that sort of define the different areas, uh, you know, between the blast pads and and just the rest uh, of the and the touchdown areas and all that, it pretty much looks very realistic uh, when, once you zoom out and, and you see the, the whole airport lit up at night. I, I've shared with you some screenshots already in the chat, um, and I don't know what you guys think, but I, I think it's like the look on this build is dramatic after this episode. Oh, absolutely. It, it yeah. is. I'd recommend the people watching to just skip ahead to the cinematics. Yeah, don't even, like, don't even, I don't know why even <laughs> listening to this commentary makes no sense. <laughs> uh, no, 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 stay, no, they're already yeah. gone. I'd say, stay, if you're still here, stay here, and then watch the cinematics, like, a few times when you get there, but getting to watch how it all comes together is pretty cool, too. <laughs> Great. Um, so, uh, I mean, you could kind of see how it looks like over there. I, I, I try to, like, change uh, the view every once in a while because, obviously, I wanted to test that things uh, were working fine. Um, and I was using this uh, sort of template that I created uh, to have the spacing between the lights be basically perfect or, or as perfect as one could make it. Uh, uh, pretty much all of the assets that I'm using are vast mirrors, of, of, of course. And um, another thing uh, that I that I encounter in, uh, is the fact that uh, did you know that the airport wasn't really connected to a power source? <laughs> is it really? Is it yeah. Not? So we have this like massive fusion plant underneath the Walmart. Uh, oh right. We talked about it many times, but there, there's no connection to the airport. I mean, at least that wasn't until I. Oh, it got put deleted. One. Yeah. Yeah, I think it yeah, got I deleted at that. some point. So uh, uh, while I was uh, setting all of these lights up. Uh, we had a massive blackout, and uh, it took me a while to figure out why. Because I thought it was like everything was connected. Uh, in fact, you go to the power menu, and and you had more than enough. So you know that was a, a bit of a tricky, uh, yeah, few minutes that I had to spend figuring out why. Now this, what I'm doing right now, this is one of the coolest things. Uh, so actually, Jay, do you want to talk about this? Because you're the one who suggested me doing this, and you probably know more of the technical side of things, how it works. So there's a weird. Not weird. There's a feature that the game supports for custom assets called Anim UVs, which lets you basically animate the UVs of something. Uh, but that includes illumination masks. So Vasmir, in his infinite wisdom, uh, and I realized that just sounded super sarcastic, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but in his like uh, actual, like pretty incredibly, decided to use slash abuse these um, these Anim UVs to provide animated lights so when you're look, like the classic scrolling flashing lights making sure airplanes don't land on taxiways i guess um, and it they end up if you pause the game at the right time and everything they animate you can see them probably barely blinking by if you're using 60 fps youtube viewing hopefully you'll be able to see them in the cinematics right absolutely yeah okay excellent because they're worth showing yeah. off they, they, are, they are showing off here but they go way too fast <laughs> ah. Uh, but in any case, they'll actually animate, and he provided a whole bunch of props that animate correctly in sequence if you place them wow. correctly. And mm -hmm. who better to place lights correctly than Strict Toaster? 
Yeah, I don't know about that, but uh, they do look <laughs> pretty nice, I must say. Uh, especially if you, I, I, I'm gonna do some shots. I haven't done the cinematics at, at the time of this record, this specific recording, but um, I'm, I'm probably gonna be showing you some shots from the tip of the runway, looking, you know, towards the horizon, and it just, it's like so eye candy. Oh, I mean, yeah, there, you can see, it. you can kind of oh, see wow. it there. That, that's, that, that's gonna give you a hint of what's to come. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, Obviously, it took a, it took a lot of uh, you know tweaking because uh, not everything starts to snap randomly to a lot of things, uh, and it's really it's really hard to get everything to be perfectly aligned. In fact, the runways are a little bit skewed; they're not perfectly straight, uh, and that really makes makes it really hard to sleep at night <laughs> if you could believe that um in terms of uh light configuration so we actually have not all runways either same i haven't i didn't copy everything exactly the same um so there's some small variances uh there's one um and 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 this is where my technical knowledge kind of stops uh, a little bit unfortunately um i did copy the same light configurations from different airports that I've seen together with the documentation uh, that Vasmir uh, published, but uh, I didn't know exactly when one was used over another. I think it has to do with the, like the different set of lights have to do with um, the technology that the runway uses uh, in terms of uh, the instrument landing uh, systems, the ILS, I think if that's the right name. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, basically which planes can theoretically land there and and which technology they use to be able to land there i had to move your train tracks by the way just that's fyi fine. <laughs> um actually i had to that's that, that brings me to another important point i had to move a lot of things uh because uh the the the, the trail of lights uh coming into the uh, vector of the runway uh, well, it hit a lot of things. In this case, you can see that it uh, was in the middle of the mom lines as well as the train lines and, of course, the freeways, which uh, flocked so neatly uh, put together. And unfortunately, I had to move them and I did my best to make them look nice. I, they're okay. You're going to see them in a minute. I think I was like okay with them, but I think Flux, if, if you have a minute to spare, may, like, <laughs> feel free to like gut them completely and do them again because uh, I think you can do a much better job than me uh, at <laughs> fixing them for sure. Uh, at first, I was trying to like, okay, maybe I can do the LAX way where they're kind of raced over the, the, the road a little bit so that cars uh, don't basically don't, don't hit it. But uh, we didn't have any good assets. I mean, look at all the weird things I'm trying here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, I tried to do this like catwalk thing to go over the the, the, the freeway so that I wouldn't have to delete it. And uh, of course, none of these work, especially because the lights uh, are buildings and uh, the post uh, or the, the pole that, that holds the lives up actually goes infinitely into the earth so this uh, is what happens oh, this and, and check this out check this out oh, all these man. bike middle decals there were oh, like 1500 <laughs> decals just in that one segment all right that might have been me yeah perhaps that, 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 i think that that was you but uh, <laughs> uh, i had a chance to to improve on that a little bit and and this is uh what i came up with in fact i had to also alter the way the regional highway uh, works because it also hit another of the runways and I think I got some footage of that coming up in, in just a few seconds here. So hmm. um, This airport keeps getting in the way of our airport. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. How inconsiderate. <laughs> yeah, and we haven't even built a city yet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Don't even joke about that because everyone's... <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, uh, let, let me let me clarify because this is also something that keeps coming up in the comments. Uh, people, some people are expecting us to actually start building the city. There's not going to be a city here. Like it, <laughs> it's been 20 episodes of an airport because that's all we're building, and that's already complex enough, I think, or at least for us it is. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, I mean, there's even not. I don't think there's even room for city. props. Yeah, no room for a city. We don't have any props to use. Uh, we'll be out of like network segments. Like there's, we like physically could not build a city even if we wanted to. There's yeah. just not enough resources. We have so. props now. I mean, we we yeah, can we clear props. a couple more segments of bubble of uh, bike metals and we're we're golden. Yeah, we just like delete the... my my. Uh, <laughs> if you delete the uh, the interchange that I made, I'm sure that would give yeah. us like another t twenty thousand. I think I'll probably just end up redoing this interchange because it's kind of dated anyway, and all of the uh, the lines we used were definitely, uh, you know, 
I not mean, necessary. Look, look how easy it is to use uh, Ronix lines here. That's so much better. Yeah, I mean, it was a nightmare to, to put so, this down. So That's here, l let me ask you this. Uh, so you see that weird curve that I made? Like, I don't know how to avoid that. Uh, right. And you made it. You make all these transitions feel like so seamless. I, I don't know how you do it. Like, yeah, there's a trick um, that's really interesting with the way that the roads work in this game. So if you have, uh, basically, there's three there's three nodes associated with emerge, right? So you have like the the first node, which is when the road is like full width, and then you have the two splits for where they're they're merging together, right? Mm -hmm. So if you take those two on the other side and you use move it to move them really really close together, like almost so they're touching then you can get it to a point where if you take the curves from each of them and move them slightly outwards and really close to each other, you can get it so that the whole road just snaps into this like big uh, trapezoidal shape. So it's no longer making curves or weird anything. Uh -huh. It's like one big shape. And if you can get it, you can, it's, it's hard to like describe in words, but if you understand like where you need to put the nodes and where you need to put the uh, markers to make that little trapezoid happen, mm -hmm. you can make really smooth transitions like every single time. The only thing is, if you if you get those two nodes too close to the first node, then you can actually break the intersection, and then it won't work anymore. So cars oh, will like the, the cars will literally like come to a complete stop and then go forward again. Like they got totally confused. So you got to be careful about that. But yeah, that's the that's the trick. So I, I, I pretty much was doing the opposite of that. I was like stretching yeah. <laughs> those uh, two uh, forked nodes as far away as possible, thinking that oh maybe this is the way to to get them like totally nice. And it's you not know, very intuitive. But yeah, yeah, for the most part they look like okay. But if yeah. you look closely, you see like all these like glitched things like that weird curve like it's almost as if it like melted on a hot day you know and it's not very <laughs> maybe <pretty>. it did <laughs> i mean look at it like the lines are crazy there but uh no, yeah okay. I'm, I'm glad you decided you just decided to redo all this <laughs> i think it looks everyone honestly, heard it I'm, of course right <laughs> yeah so i guess i have to now no I've, i actually really like what you're doing with these uh these lights and the concrete kind of cement stuff i think that's a really well cool design. Th there's there's a boring. logic to these uh, lights actually um oh really? sure brings me to yeah so the the way i uh w one thing i noticed is that usually these uh set of lights uh when you're obviously we had this super tall lights right, right. just mm -hmm. before this segment of the road and the thing is these planes are basically on ground level at this point so you, you definitely <laughs> want to have lights that are not really tall and not right. only that you want lights that are pointing or casting the light straight into the road and not all over the place because right. you can straight blind down. the pilots you want everything around this to be super dark except the stretch of road so mm -hmm. that's that's and sort of the, the logic pilots behind it really need to see <laughs> What? They got instruments. They're fine. They don't need to see. Okay. <laughs> then I'll put some like stadium lights there. Then there you go. Call it a Shining day. directly upwards. It's just an array yeah. of laser pointers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like disco balls or something. I don't know. Uh, this is uh, the other segment of the freeway that I had to move and make it a twist weirdly. So either of you, if you see this when when you get the save, be be my guest uh, if you want to change it. Because I, I mean, it it looks okay. It looks like fine, but I think it could look much better than that that's that's all i'm saying now uh okay so this one gave me a lot of headaches too so um bad idea had uh this uh super thin pedestrian path uh in the workshop for a while in fact i use it i remember using this a lot uh when i did that guest episode in gramercy but the problem is that this path because it's so thin the game doesn't like it very much it's a, it's a pedestrian path that's like, I don't know, like two meters wide, I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even one meter. Uh, and the problem is that it looks fine now, but when I reload the save game, th it just carves like a, an infinite trench in the ground. <laughs> it's, yeah, and I, I tried, and it doesn't do it on all places. It, do, it does it every once in a while, and I don't know what the logic is, so I couldn't find it. And I spent, I, I think I restarted the game like 10 times in a row like two nights ago, trying to figure out, like trying different things to see which one worked and which one didn't. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. Um, I did reduce the amount of glitchy things, but uh, definitely still happening. So uh, that's something we might have to come back to later. I did end up replacing this uh, super thin uh, pedestrian road with uh, a, a little bit thicker one from, uh, um, oh man, I can't remember the, the name of the asset creator. Arnold, uh, Arnold, wow, you guys, oh, help me. Rimmer. Yes, know. Arnold Rimmer. Yes, sorry about that. Um, he has a, an amazing set of, he actually ha has multiple sets of um, bike paths that are really thin too. I think th his are like three meters wide. 
and uh, some of those were also causing the same issue. So it's definitely a, a, an issue with the game, not so much the asset specifically, but uh, it definitely brought down the number of glitchy things. So I might I, I need to keep exploring that and see what uh, we can what we can do to to really fix that. Um, right. Another big thing that I did throughout this episode is uh, well, just extending our service road networks. I, I did a little bit of a. Uh, embellishing of uh, of the roads in general, just curving things nicely and, and sort of flowing uh, around the taxiways and the runways uh, pretty much across the entire airport. And uh, probably in a few minutes, I'm not, oh, we still have a, a little bit of an episode <laughs> left. Um, <laughs> the last thing I will do in this episode is a custom made tunnel. So stay tuned for that right, right after the break. Uh, <laughs> um, and another thing that I, oh, okay, so this is uh, what we we're talking about in the previous episode. If you remember, Jay, you were talking about uh, uh, bad ideas, uh, network based. Uh, what what do they call the blast? Uh, Jet blast deflector. Yeah. Uh, so the problem, <laughs> <laughs> I will never remember that name. Uh, the problem with those is that uh, they're a little bit too tall, uh, hmm. and and they kind of block. I, I usually want them uh, as the service road kind of goes uh, behind the uh the blast pad uh, on all of these runways so the problem is that uh you would put one of those and it will cover the lights and that's not mm. a good thing i don't think <laughs> um so why uh, he he actually has several variants and i ended up choosing uh a, basically a shorter one that i think works fine so we still have quite a few places around the airport that use the prop based uh Whatever those are called, like I forgot the name again. Blast uh, pads, I guess I don't know. No, blast, blast deflector. Yeah, oh. there you go. Blast pads are is the one with the yeah, yellow stripes. Big, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, I we we might have to look into that, figure out a way to 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 be able to use them. Because I mean, as assets go, they they look fantastic. Uh, I really want to keep mm -hmm. using more of those, but uh, it was yeah. It I mean, is hard. it is it that unreasonable to have some of them be props and some of them be networked? Like I don't think so. Cause no. I, I kind of like the way that the other the props looked in certain areas. Like I don't I, I don't think it's unreasonable for the airport to have like multiple variants of that mm -hmm. of that uh you know whatever jet deflector thing. <laughs> jet <laughs> jet see, it's deflector. so hard to remember. Yeah, I'm not. I I'm, I'm glad I'm not it. the only one. I need to have like a button to just trigger that every time you yeah. say it. Like a soundboard. A soundboard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just want a J soundboard so I can just press that press a button and have him say. Jet blast deflector. I, I would like <laughs> I would like JT to say uh, what FBO meant again, if possible. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, indeed. I, I just, <laughs> it's been a week and I haven't looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't really been a week, but yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, this is uh, this is a custom made tunnel, and the reason why it's custom made is because I tried to make it non custom made and it totally sucked. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna make it on my, myself. And uh, the problem is that um, if you raise one of these roads underneath the freeways or the taxiways, uh, you end up with these uh, trenches and all these kinds of glitchy things. So I decided to cover it with uh, ploppable docks in this case, which uh, you can raise up and down easily, and they kind of match the texture of the runway. Though I have seen in like LAX, for example, the, there's an avenue that runs uh, through many of the runways, uh, Sepulveda Boulevard, in case you're in LA, you know, uh, the area uh, and uh, the texture of the runway itself actually changes because uh, it's like a different type of concrete as it goes through the boulevard uh, so I thought that was a great idea uh, and you know I actually implemented it this way using these uh, docks that we've been using for the plane stands all over the place and uh, to cover the trench or the dirt or the rocks that are exposed because uh, the game doesn't allow you to have like totally vertical walls I had to I guess make them on my own by using a combination of uh, the concrete walls plus uh, some ploppable grass. And uh, you can see that uh, there's like a weird shade of uh, like the, the shadow of the of the train. It was, well, not, you can no longer see that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> what I ended up doing is smoothing everything out uh, much, much further from the actual trench and then putting a few more rows of ploppable grass. And that way it kind of like deflects the shadows better. Um, it, it does, make it look a bit more or less harsh uh, in, in, in a sense. So uh, if you're going to try to do that, uh, I, I suggest you use that technique because it actually works really, really well. Uh, over here, I try to uh, work on, on this uh, newly created uh, service road uh, and sort of integrated with the build that Jay did several episodes ago. 
and uh, well, sort of continue the path of the service road. I ended up moving some of them quite a bit uh, so that they're all like a bit more symmetric and balanced. Actually, more balanced than symmetric. Uh, I've been corrected by the viewers before uh, for <laughs> using those words interchangeably when they aren't. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, just keeping things real simple. Made a roundabout out of this uh, service road. Put some, some nice... Uh, little decoration there not too crazy because like this is i guess a mostly industrial type of thing like really guests don't come uh to this area but i wanted to make it a little bit interesting and i ended up using uh pressing manager to basically make this a run uh, roundabout because otherwise like cars can drive both ways but uh i think uh i think that's pretty much it for this episode um, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm, I'm able to to show you some night shots for for for, for the first time. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please uh, consider giving this video a like. That's very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel or new to Jay's channel or Flux's channel, make, make sure to subscribe, and uh, that way you can keep up with this uh, series, which it seems like it's going to be several episodes more in the making. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Right? Yep. <laughs> Probably. But, uh, this will never end. <laughs> Yeah. Well, but but that's all that's all for now. Uh, make sure to tune in to Flux's channel next week for episode 19. And uh, I guess I guess we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>was such a slow countdown <laughs> well i wasn't sure if you're like really ready yeah you really, th really threw me off though we'll have this nailed by episode 20 <laughs> or not or not probably not though episode 20 is in two episodes just so you know i know 20th times the charm though it'll be your episode jay so you better nail it oh god the pressure